Hey guys, I have got a luxury fashion haul for you today and I am so excited to be sharing with you what I purchased over the past week or so because everything except for one thing was on major sales. So a lot of these things, I guess are out of season you could say, but I am basically stockpiling a bunch of things for fall winter. So I'm very, very excited. Some things I actually have not tried on yet. So maybe some things are going back, but a lot of things I've already tried on and I'm keeping and I'm so excited for them. So when my friend Jen was here, if you guys saw my last vlog. Uh, we went shopping, we went to the North Outlets, I went to the Loewe Boutique at the Wynn. The sales associate there was kind enough to let me know that they were having their seasonal sale and everything was 50% off and I did purchase some things online. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me start first with what I got at the North Premium Outlets here in Las Vegas. So I was a little surprised to see that some of my favorite stores at the North Premium Outlets here in Las Vegas were no longer there. The only one that I can remember at the moment is Prada. So there used to be a Prada outlet there, but that is gone. And I was so, so sad. I was walking around in circles. It's like, where's this Prada store? And I finally sat down and looked on the directory and it wasn't listed anymore. However, some new boutiques have popped up, including Montclair. And you guys know how much I love a good piece of outerwear. This one just caught my eye because of the twall print, of course. I love twall print. And because of its super lightweight material, I thought, wow, this is actually something I could wear here in Vegas. It is basically like a very long wind breaker. So let me go ahead and put this on. All right, let me back up all the way. I'm just wearing my slippers, so don't mind my footwear. <laughs> But here is the windbreaker. Isn't it so cool? It has some cuff bands here with two buttons for adjustments. It's fully zip up. And then there's actually a belt, a very stretchy belt here. If you want a cinched waist look and wear the belt or you could just clip it closed behind you, which I'll probably do. And it has these slip pockets over here. And again, it's a super lightweight material. So I just love, love, love this print, the colors of the print, this material. It does have a hood back here and the hood has these nice heavy black drawstrings. The hood is not detachable. It is there to stay. And then there's some vents here. It's Montclair, so it's really well made. I love, love, love the styling of it. So whenever I do outlet shopping, I'm always wondering like how did this end up at the outlets if it's not like damaged or something and a lot of the Montclair coats at least that I tried on I just think the sizing was off because I believe this is a size one and they have sizes they have like a truncated sizing system so like size zero one two three four I think is how they're size maybe they have five and six for a few styles so like I have a black Montclair coat and it's a four which to me seems right on the scale like if I usually like an extra large or if I usually like a 12, 14, that seems right. But this is a size one and the size zero that they had there too could have fit me also. Like if that was the only size, I probably would have gotten that one. This one, I just, you know, I like my clothes roomy. This one just had a little bit more, you know, like movement to it. So I thought that's probably why this ended up in the outlets because the sizing is just off. They had another one that I'm thinking about going back and getting if it's still there, but they have another coat that's like super duper warm. It's very, very plain looking. It's waterproof, it's windproof. And I was like, ooh, this looks really good. And that I think I was a size zero. So that was another piece I was like, I bet that's here because of the sizing. It is just completely off. So anyway, I'm so glad that I scored this piece. It's so much fun. Here is the Montclair patch on the sleeve there. Yeah, so that is what I got at the outlets. And then I went to the Loewe Boutique and I purchased a few things. One thing I'll have to show you at the end of this video because I left it downstairs. I have been using it ever since I purchased it. I love it so much. But let me show you a pair of shoes that I picked up. Now you guys maybe, maybe not, remembered on my Instagram feed, I was kind of styling a Loewe mini Goya puffer bag and it was in that pistachio green. I decided to return that bag to forward because it was on loan to me and I really really liked it but I thought you know what let me just I was trying to play it safe you know I thought oh I really love that green but like how often am I gonna wear the green I probably would have worn it pretty often anyway these mules were on sale now this green if I remember correctly I feel like this green is a little bit brighter a little bit deeper that green was more of like a very light sort of minty pistachio and this seems like more of like a straight up kind of minty green but I just love love 
love, love the puffers. You guys know I have two of those puffer Prada shoes. I just love this puffer material. I just think it looks fun. It just sort of takes any formality out of the shoe. I don't know, the shoe has a sense of humor. So I really like the whole puffer idea. If you'll notice on the inside of the mule here, there's actually a piece of leather that is not the puffer. So it gives the shoe a little bit more structure, which I liked because this has a little bit of a kitten heel here. Can you see that? A little bit of a kitten heel. And you know, it's a high enough heel that your foot is going to slide forward. And I think this gives it a little bit more structure so that your foot just won't whoosh, like slide right through. Let me just throw these on. Here they are. Aren't they so cute? They're so comfortable. So, so comfortable. They are size 39, which is what I usually take. So I would say these are true to size. You can see my heel fits right right onto the back of the shoe. But aren't these awesome? I just love a kitten heel. I used to run around in four inch heels. I can't do that anymore. So, <laughs> and I just love a kitten heel. I find them very, very elegant and most importantly, really easy to walk in. So down below in the description box, I will leave any information I can find on the stuff. As you know, sometimes when things are on sale or things, definitely things at the outlet, it's hard to find like the proper style name and all of that. So I think, I think I have enough information maybe on the receipt, but not on the tag. Anyway, I'll leave any information I have down below in my description box if you're interested in seeing if you find these items on sale yourself. So, all right, so those were the mules from Loewe. And I know everything that I got at Loewe was 50% off. So it was a really, really great deal. Oh, actually, I do know where that receipt is. Hold on. So those mules, those are the Anagram Padded Mule 50 millimeter. And those were originally $990 and I got them for $495. So that's 50% off, which is fantastic. So all of the Loewe products were 50% off, except for the thing I'm going to show you at the end, because I just love that and I just picked it up. This next piece I got at Loewe is a beautiful cardigan. As you guys know, that green deer cardigan, I always want to say bunny because that's what I thought it was at first. But my deer cardigan, you guys know how much I love it. I wore it all winter. I traveled with it. Such a great piece. That green was like a new kind of neutral for me. This cardigan here. And that cardigan had like an asymmetric bottom. It's a little bit more exaggerated than this cardigan again. But this cardigan is kind of the same idea where it has a longer side. So the camel side is a little bit longer than the cream side. But I just love this color block cardigan. I love cream. I love camel. This rust color is a color I don't have a lot of in my wardrobe. But I was thinking, you know, you could wear it with denim. You could wear it with black, navy, brown, camel, or cream. Pretty much all of the other colors that I have in my wardrobe. So I thought, you know, why not? I can't wear it now because it is too warm, but let me throw it on for you. So here is the cardigan. The only thing it's missing is pockets. <laughs> it doesn't have pockets, but that's okay. I just love it. It's so, so soft. And if it wears anything like the deer cardigan, it's gonna look new for so long, as I just showed you my deer cardigan. And like I said, I wore it all winter. I traveled with it. I don't treat my things that well. I haven't shaved it or anything, and it still looks great. There's no pilling or anything. So I am really, really hoping this one wears the same way. So this guy is the Anagram Asymmetric Cardigan. It was originally $1,150 and I got it for $575. Very excited to wear this next winter. Oh, but right now it is very hot. Very, very hot. Let me see if I can find the fiber content. So it's made in Italy and it's 100% wool. So this is going to, I think, wear really, really well. And then I could not resist this jacket. Now, this jacket from Loewe is actually a men's coat. I don't care. I think, you know, whatever. If you like it and it comes in your size or something close to your size, you may as well get it. It's got this leather patch here. It's zip front. It's a very boxy silhouette. It has a hood, which is removable. And this is made out of like a wool twill. So let me put this guy on. Okay, so the sleeves are too long, as you can see. So I'll just get those shortened. But yeah, I just love this coat. It's got pockets here. It's lined. The whole jacket is lined. The hood, I think, keeps it looking kind of casual. And if I want to, I think, make it a little bit more formal isn't really the right word, but more formal, I think I can take off the hood. I just love it. And I just love the way that it like sits. This wool twill feels like silk. It is really, really 
really incredible. So I know this is a size 48 because I tried 46, 48, and 50. They all fit. The 50 definitely was a little bit big. Of course, I liked how it was kind of drapey. And the 46 like fit me well, but the 48, I just liked that it had like a little bit more room and there was a little bit more movement to the fabric. So I went with the 48. And again, this is a men's piece, so I don't even know what 48 means. So this is the hooded anagram zip parka. And it's originally $2,350 and I got it for $1,175. So really, really great. 50% off is like such a good deal. And then Kate is a brand that was having a sale online. So I placed an order online and these are actually the pieces that I have not been able to try on because this box arrived. When did this box arrive? This box actually arrived when I was sick and then my friend Jen arrived and then I just kind of forgot about them. But I need to try them on because my return window is quickly closing. And if I do want to return them, I have to do it soon. So anyway, I ended up getting two cashmere sweaters and one overcoat. And I got to say the overcoat looks amazing. That's probably going to be a keeper if it fits, but the sweaters look really, really short. So here's the first sweater and it's got this great mock neck and this great like fisherman rib. This is so, so thick. And look at these huge sleeves. Look at that giant like elbow, <laughs> the elbow in the sleeve. So anyway, let me try this on. This is the one that looks especially cropped. Yeah, this is 100% cashmere and made in Mongolia. Okay, so here is a sweater. Actually, it's not that cropped. It looked a lot more cropped on the hanger for some reason. I think because these sleeves are so exaggerated that proportionately the body of the sweater actually looked a little bit short. And I apologize, it's so hard to see black especially black on black. So there's a slit up the side. There's a slit in the sleeves. There's no slit in the turtleneck. Sometimes there's a slit in the turtleneck. And this is, wow, this is like the perfect sweater for New York in deep, deep winter, like February. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I think... I think maybe this is a keeper. This is such a beautiful sweater. And I think everything on the Kate site, at least when I shopped it, I think it was third. I think there was a range, but I think the pieces that I got were 30% off. But again, I'll leave information down below in the description box if you're interested. Ooh, but I like this. Let me take this off before I literally turn to dust. Oh, and this is a size large. Yeah, and 100% cashmere. So this is definitely a keeper, I think. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a cashmere heavy fisherman rib black mock neck, right? And then this cardigan is one that I have been eyeing for so, so long. I don't know. It felt like every like fashion YouTuber I watched had this cardigan and I just never bit the bullet. And then when I saw it on sale, I was like, I think that's a sign. I think it's time to get it. So this is another 100% cashmere item. And because I had been eyeing this cardigan for so long, I'm pretty sure the name of this is the Michaela cardigan. I thought this was going to be too short also, but I think again, the proportions just made it seem kind of short because these sleeves are fairly long. But that definitely, that definitely fits. And I believe this is a size extra large where that black one was a size large. All right, wow, I have lots to think about. I don't know, now that I have this cardigan on, so funny, I've been like, you know, lusting after this for so long. I feel like this looks a little homely. I don't know. The black one was, you know, that was super chic. That was elegant. It, this is, you know, a crew neck cardigan. So I wasn't expecting anything like too edgy, but this looks a little, maybe it's the color. Maybe the color is what's making it look kind of, yeah, look kind of homely to me. I wish you guys could vote right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This one, out of the two, I think this is the one that I would return, strangely enough, because again, this is the one I've been lusting after. Okay, so that is the Michaela cardigan, and oh god, it's so warm. Holy smokes. Um, yeah, and I did get this in extra large, and this one was made in Italy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then the last piece that I got from Kate is this overcoat. Is this not incredible? I love this color, this sort of like slightly acidic olive green. It's double breasted. Oh my God, it looks so great. So let me put this guy on. All right, here is the overcoat. It is meant to be oversized. Look at these sleeves. I love how exaggerated they are. I love the color of this. I love the feel of this fabric. It almost kind of feels like a burnt out velvet. Actually, it feels closer to like a corduroy. And this, look at this color. It just glows. It's so, so cool. I think, 
I think the bottom is throwing me off a little bit because it has these huge slits up the side. So it's not hanging the way a normal coat would hang, you know, that's like closed up. But I think if I took it to the dry cleaner, had them like really steam and press it out because it's such a heavy material. I don't know if I could do it at home properly with my equipment, but I think it would hang okay. I just have to decide if it's too oversized. The way the model was wearing it was very similar to this. It was like this drop shoulder, very big situation, but I don't know if that's very practical in real life. Oof, it is gorgeous though. God, this material is great. So I think maybe I'll go online and see if there's a smaller size. And then, oh, here's the back. So I do wish I had a bunch of sizes to try to compare. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go on the site and see if there's a smaller size. I think I'd probably be happy with that. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty heavy coat and if I could get a smaller size with less material and carry around less weight, that would be very helpful. But I love these sleeves. Yeah, I just really love the exaggerated proportions. These lapels are pretty big. The buttons are like really spaced out wide, far apart. The slit is really high. Yeah, it's just such a cool piece. Anyway, I'll keep you updated and see if I can get a smaller size. And just for reference and how that coat is definitely meant to be oversized, that's a size medium. And again, I'm usually a large, extra large. So that is definitely uh, something that not only runs big, but is meant to be oversized. Okay, I have one last piece to try on for you guys. And this was actually sent to me by Phil V. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but I have one of their black dresses that I love, absolutely love, and I've posted a bunch of Instagram photos with that dress on. And so they reached out to me and asked if they could send me something. So they sent this over. Isn't this so pretty? So let me go ahead and try this on. All right, so here is the dress on. This, I don't have the right like underpinnings <laughs> for this dress, so excuse, excuse that. Um, but this is open all the way down here and it's just closed by this tie up at the top. But isn't this embroidery so beautiful? I love it. I wish I had this dress when I was in Morocco. So their sizing is very interesting. They basically tell you to order the size based on the length. So I think the larger the size, uh, the taller you are. So this is a size medium and you know, it fits. It definitely fits. I can, you know, reach out and whatever. Um, it's a little, it's a little busty for me. So I think I'd probably want to wear uh, maybe like one of those little uh, tank tops underneath or at least wear a prettier bra perhaps <laughs> something like that but it's a really nice flowy material let me step back so you can see how long it is but yeah it's so comfortable and I love how this flows and a lot of other dresses that I have that have like a, a similar feel to this by now would be all staticky and kind of like running between my legs or whatever and this is this is fine I'm moving around and it's not like clinging to me. So a big thank you to Phil DeV for sending this over. It's so pretty. It's like perfect for the summertime. Okay, before I leave you guys, the one last thing that I got at Loewe that I had left downstairs, I just ran down to get it to show you. This was the item that was not on sale, but I just fell in love with it. It's the elephant phone case. Now, <laughs> this has been around a while uh, with Loewe, but they just kind of change up the color offerings every season. And so I just really liked this tomato red. You guys know how much I love this, uh, this shade of red. And, you know, I was thinking about when I go to Italy, I think I'm going to want to walk around kind of light. So I figure if I have this for like my phone and my ID, like my passport, and then I'll have like a fanny pack. I've got my Prada nylon fanny pack. I think that's just what I'm going to walk around with. I don't think I want to carry around a big bag. Like I just want to be really mobile. So that was what I had in mind. Um, I also feel like I'm constantly losing my phone and putting it down somewhere and forgetting or whatever. And so I'm actually, I don't know if this is even practical, but I'm kind of getting into the habit of always keeping it in this elephant. So like even at home. So uh, when I see the elephant, I know my phone is in there. So anyway, um, I have the iPhone 14 Pro, like I mentioned in my last vlog, I just got it and it fits perfectly inside the elephant. I don't know if a max would fit in here. I think the max is just, I think it is wider and it is taller um, and there's room in here. 
uh, extra room in here once I put my phone in there. So I do think it would fit in there, but I don't, I don't know. Definitely don't quote me on that. Um, you'll want to check out the measurements, but this fits my phone. I've got my car key like at the bottom kind of sitting there. My phone uh, stands on top of it. And then on the back, there is um, the slot for cards and stuff. So I just have like a credit card, my driver's license, um, and maybe another credit card in there. Anyway, I have three cards in there. I don't know what the third one is. Oh, it's my Costco card. Okay, so that <laughs> that's in there. So anyway, this is the last thing that I got at Loewe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning into this video. Again, check the description box for any and all info that I have for all the pieces that I just showed you. And thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.